I'm Jen with The Travel Women. I'm Ariel with Urbanist. And today we are exploring the best places to eat here in Times Square. There are a lot of tourist traps that tend to be a little bit too expensive. And food that's not that great. So it is hard to find some really good places and we recommend the following best places to eat in all Times Square. is one of my top favorite spots. It's one of the top 10 spots here in New York City. And it can be a bit popular, but it is worth the wait. I actually came here on my birthday. Jollibee, the Filipino fast food chain, just opened a small outpost in Times Square. If you're looking for a quick bite, like fried chicken, that is actually really good, then come to Jollibee for the chicken joy and gravy. While you're here, try the sweet spaghetti and for dessert, the peach mango pie. For a musical and a meal, come to Ellen Stardust Diner where waitresses and waiters will actually serenade you over a meal. I also highly recommend their shakes, but come here early because there will be a line like the one behind me. Ooh, one of the best places to get cream puff coffee, bubble tea is here at Bibble and Sip. Bibble and Sip is a rarity in Times Square because Times Square doesn't usually have good coffee shops. Good coffee shops, you have to go down Soho or to the East Village, but this place is beyond extraordinary. It's a family-run business and they bake all their goods in-house. Here in the middle of Times Square where there are so many chain restaurants is one of the best taco shops here in New York City. Let's go. Three friends from Mexico and Southern California started Los Tacos Numero Uno to bring authentic Mexican tacos to the East Coast. Despite their success, this place still feels like a small roadside stand with no seating, only counters to eat your food. If there's a line, usually on the weekends, it goes quickly and trust me, it's worth the wait. My two favorite taco flavors are carne asada, steak taco, and adobada, pork taco with small slices of pineapple on top. There's also the pollo asado, grilled chicken, or for vegetarians, the nopal, grilled cactus. When asked if you want corn or flour tortilla, the answer is always corn. I love the rich flavors of the marinated meats, the fresh corn tortillas that are flattened right in front of you, and of course, the fact that their guacamole sauce comes on every single taco without charging you extra. And these tacos are super affordable for a New York City meal. Cheese lovers can order the quesadilla, which are very different than the American quesadillas, but similar to the tacos with cheese. There's even a secret menu with a taco shell made entirely out of cheese. I love to order Mexican Coke or soda, which has a sweeter sugar, or fresh jugos or juice, like the horchata, which is rice milk with some cinnamon, or the tamarindo made from tamarind legumes, or the jamaica, which means hibiscus water. Here we are at Junior's in Times Square, New York City. Which is known for making the best New York style cheesecake and also the Reuben sandwich. Love Reuben. Mm -hmm. And this started in 1950 all the way in Brooklyn and it has been expanding all around the city ever since. And this, today we went to the huge expansion in Times Square, which was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I'm not usually a huge cheesecake fan, but this one was really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really and the good. super fluffy cheesecake, they still use Philadelphia cream cheese as the original recipe from the 1950s has it. And also they still whip it by hand. Amazing. And you can, t you can definitely taste the difference. Yeah. And we got not just a slice of cheesecake, but we decided to go all out and get a <laughs> cheesecake on a shake. Yeah, yeah. Why? why I mean, why? Why not? Why, why have them separate? Just have them together. <laughs> Go all out. While you're here in New York, we do it big. <laughs> exactly, we do it big in New York City. But the cheesecake actually originates back to 2000 BC in the island of Somos, Greece. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was New York. Come on. Nope. But and then the very first recipe written down in English was back in 1390. Mm -hmm. So we're eating ancient history right here today. So Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ariel with Urbanist. I'm Jen with The Travel Women. Check out my friends Jen's channel. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring.